what's up guys? Thanks for uh, checking out this video. What we're gonna be doing today and this weekend actually is I'm gonna be taking my 2020 Road Glide down to Cowboy Harley Davidson in Austin and I'm gonna be dropping it off to get some work done to it while I pick up a brand new 2023 Lowrider ST. I might be okay, I might be able to stay dry, but we got some gnarly weather coming our way. Let's check out what we got on the bike and get it loaded up and then hit the road. All right, we got a blow up air mattress, Patagonia jacket, which amazing. T-shirt, underwear, socks, toothbrush, nice little rain fly jacket, my tent, sleeping bag here. Have my Canon uh, 85 millimeter. We got a Ninja V Plus, uh, ND filters, batteries, uh, DJI mic. So I have a cool setup to run this. I have the Volta mount, literally just and if I need it, I can pop it off and do YouTuber stuff. That's the plan, that should be good. And uh, let me get all this packed up and then we're gonna hit the road and try to avoid any kind of rain. Yo, what's up everyone? I just got to Cowboy Harley Davidson. Um, I got a little bit rained on, so my feet are wet, but I'm here, I'm ready to get this Lowrider ST. We're gonna send the Road Glide in to get some uh, service work done, a little oil leak, get it fixed, and get it all shined up. As you can see, it got dirty as hell. I got my uh, socks out here drying, my shoes are still wet. Really excited for you guys to meet Tommy. Uh, he's been a good friend of mine for since 2016, I bought my first FXR from him. So here we are buying the fourth bike from Tommy, I believe. So yeah, let's go meet him and let's go see this Lowrider ST. I was telling everybody on the on the on the uh, the YouTubes here that I bought my first FXR from you. Yep. 2016 Cowboy San Antonio. Yes, sir. Full circle, you're back here in Austin, and how's it feel to be home? It feels good, man. It's nice to be able to wake up and go to sleep in the same place and work yeah. all at the same time. In Milwaukee, you did a lot to kind of create somewhat of a performance community up there. And uh, you had great guys like Alex and, and J-Rock and, you know, many other guys has come through that shop over the years. It's good. It's got a lot of promise. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of friends around town. Austin's grown, so to speak. The more events and the more stuff we're putting on at the dealership, we're starting to see more people come out. I was. On the fence about a Lowrider ST, it's hard to go from a Rogue Glide to anything below that on the lineup. I'm losing a lot of storage space and I travel yes. a lot, so I'm kind of worried about that. And I actually got a bag full of shit right now that I got to try to figure out how to work this into the uh, Lowrider ST yeah. setup. I, you know, to be honest, going out there, the first thing I thought of was you probably need a little slim tour pack or something for that thing. Yeah, that's the plan. But yeah, I wanted to try to do this little come down here, get the bike, leave the road glide here, and then go do a little solo camping trip this weekend. You know, I might have to ship the tent home if it doesn't fit in the bag. This is true. You let me know what I need to do to help, but I think you picked a perfect weekend for it. So you got a road glide that you're building right now for the Texas Hill Show. The Texas Hill Cycle Show will be May 26th, 27th uh, at the Roundup in Bernie. Uh, but yeah, the road glide's on the lift. Tins are in your shop, and uh, I'm waiting on a couple more powder coat parts and a yeah. swing arm from Speed Dealer. And then we'll be able to start putting this bad boy together and nice, and nice. See Moto GP weekend, you guys are putting on some uh, stuff here. We got a bike night. Bike night's going to be at the Far Out, which is on uh, South Congress and Slaughter, probably a mile, maybe a mile from here. We actually had one last night. Huge property, full stage in the back. Uh, it'll be vendors set up, food trucks, you know, with Justin and Jetty and everybody coming down for the show, along with the races that weekend. Yeah, we might as well it's throw a party a and get all the homies yeah. in. It's exciting, man. With with you back in town. Uh, making the effort to kind of create more community around Austin. Austin's always been a vibrant city with lots of motorcycles, but it, from, in my opinion, it's just lacked organizing leadership, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like someone to just do the work, put the bike nights on, put the events on, talk to all the different brands, bring them together. That's literally what needed to happen here. When we pick a day to ride, I mean, everybody shows up. Nice. You know, I was getting worried there for a while, like, is there a where are they? They're here. Yeah, they're they here. They are here. Well, I'm actually looking forward to riding some of the Texas Hill Country this weekend on this new lowrider. You think it's ready back there? Yeah. Sure. Let's go check it out.
I'm here at the one and only Lindahl Brakes. Hey, hey. This is Paul. What's going on? Paul and I have been working together on bike builds for going on oh, seven gosh. years now. Seven for sure. Uh, they make some of the best brakes and coolest wheel designs out there. And they focus completely on performance as far as saving weight, having the best materials and the best, uh, how would you put it, like the best shit for the track, basically. We work hard to, to uh, <laughs> we strive for the utmost in design and materials. Yeah. And, uh, we love it. Our, our first day of business was on the track. Yeah. Club level stuff, of course. We saw Eric starting at the track from yeah. a long time ago. Jiffy Tune? Yeah, yeah, riding, riding club level stuff. Yeah, and he yeah. was a novelty in the beginning. And then everybody started catching on. And all of a sudden, here comes King of the Baggers, which yeah. not a lot of people took seriously in the beginning. But yeah. once it got a million views, yeah, on the they, first one, that was a game changer for everyone. And uh, having the track time to, to, to fine tune your products. Oh yeah. And having guys like Eric riding your bikes and Cody Melton as well. And that's invaluable. Having yeah. having several different talent levels, platforms, yeah, yeah. by which we can, we can test our materials, get feedback. And we're humble students of our trade. We're always out at the paddock trying to, uh, to improve our products and, and bring the finest in the world. And, and especially Moto America, that's, that's, on, a, that's on a global stage. Yeah. Like being on the world stage, uh, there's little margin for error. It's how long you've been here in San Marcos now? Oh gosh, I think we've been here three years now, Already four three years. years. Yeah. Damn. Time flies. It does. I we've mean, been I remember. in this building for two years, I think. I love the, uh, the acreage and um, where I love it's the at. building, where it's at. It's right yeah. on the Devil's Backbone. It's, mm -hmm. it's right down the street from Jacob's Well, Wimberley, uh, Dripping Springs. Some of the best so, riding in the hill country. Some right of the, the best riding in Texas is yeah. right here. We're stopping by here today. I wanted to check out some of Paul's wheels and uh, see what we can do on this Lowrider ST build that we're doing for Born Free California, which you'll probably see the bike done at their booth at Born Free in California. Yes, you will. So, you will. Yeah. yeah. We're going to put some B52 wheels on it. Okay, so it's decided like this. We're gonna use this B52. We're gonna go with one of our race hubs. We're gonna be putting this together. I'm putting on Jason's new whip. It's gonna look sick. Well guys, we made it to the campsite. Uh, pretty stoked, got the tent up, bikes unloaded. Basically this is the last uh, like vacation time before camp out comes and all these other big things that we gotta get ready for this year. All the trips, the bike builds, the paint jobs. You know, this is like my last little vacation before it's, it's all work. I'm gonna try to capture as much as I can. Uh, it's gonna get dark soon and I don't know how much I'll be able to show you after that. Probably just a lot of jerking off and fires. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Well, it's Saturday morning, had a great time last night. We uh, actually went to dinner with uh, Scott from Simpson Motorcycle Helmets and uh, didn't really think it was a good time to, you know, video and whatnot. It was kind of more of a just us hanging out, shooting the shit. I think I saved that one for me and him, but came back here, had a fire, had a good time uh, alone. <laughs> I know that sounds depressing, but it's actually, it was, it was quite peaceful. Played some good music. Got dark here. I couldn't really show you much. So, but yeah, today I got to head back up to Cowboy Harley. We have a check engine light on the bike. So we're going to go up there and get that fixed. Meet up some friends, go riding, see where today takes us and uh, have some good times. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> a lot colder than I thought. had to run to Cowboy Harley to have something done to the bike, button up a little issue we had on it. But I was able to run into my buddy Chris over here. Say hi, Chris. All right, he's got a sick ass FXR. 
SNS powered. Uh, he's a camp out regular. He's a customer, he's a homie, he's a good dude. We got to meet Kevin today. Say hi, Kevin. What's up? You guys met up, we're gonna go camping tonight. Uh, so you'll be seeing more of these guys today. Probably see some of their bikes on the road. How do you, do you ever know how to end these things? It's just so awkward, like you feel like, yeah, stay tuned, we'll see you, see you in a minute. First time in green. Is it cool or what? Oh, it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I want to know what this lion's for over here. I wonder what that bar is over there in the corner. It said like a whiskey bar or some shit like that. So it's only hitting lower 53 here today. Let's hope it stays that way because it was fucking freezing this morning. This is hoodie weather right there. Yeah. Low winds, so six miles per hour. Uh well last night was okay. It was it was pretty decent. <laughs> Burned quite a bit of shit. I uh, drank quite a bit of beers, and I I, I should I should have got a Gatorade like my man over here because uh, I'm feeling it in my head right now. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, had fun. This this campsite's always been badass, and I've enjoyed my time here uh, over the years. I miss Giddy Up. This is the R.I.P. Giddy Up camp out. <laughs> the two of us. This dude didn't even have a tent. He just slept on the ground. Did you sleep on the ground or the table? I got my sleeping bag. Right here. Nice. Right. right next to the ant bed. Yep. My dude. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna go meet up with uh Scott from Simpson Motorcycle Helmets and then ride up to uh, Revival Cycles. They're having a breakfast this morning and maybe check out some cool shit and then I'm gonna head back up to Dallas. So that's that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> 